Over a thousand years ago, a young girl named Palone frequently sees death from childbirth, vicious animals, and wars. There's also the curse that causes people to just die in the night. She wants to beat it, but if she can't, she could. Join it. This is about a gardening project to do in July, Zone 8. Zone 8 covers a lot of Texas, the upper parts of Louisiana, lower parts of Arkansas, and many other locations. Right now, it's pretty hot. This video is for July gardening projects. It was made in 2021, but should apply to other years as well. If you're an avid vegetable gardener, you are probably getting a harvest. Onions have likely matured to probably have tomatoes, carrots, or other crops. You may have reached the point where you're tired of canning and friends and relatives run away if they see you coming with a bag of garden goods. Well, this is a good time to use some of this torturous summer heat and dry out some crops. I made a solar-powered food dehydrator using an aluminum baking pan, aluminum foil, some screen scraps, glue, and a piece of glass, like from an old window. This food dehydrator can be left outside, and the drying food will be protected from most insects, dust, rain, and other contaminants. To make this, I cut holes in the aluminum baking pan. You can often do that with a simple kitchen knife or scissors. It's not very hard. Then I cover these holes with screen wire and use glue to keep it on. I use a generous amount of glue to fill in all the cracks. This lets plenty of air in and out, but not bugs or birds. Tiny insects might still fit through. Next, I line this with an aluminum foil. As the crops dry, they sometimes get sticky, so the foil helps keep it clean. Next, I slice up whatever I want to dry using a slice-o-matic. You don't have to use some fancy machine for cutting, but it makes for more even cuts. I mostly do onions, as these tend to taste even better as they dry. I've tried drying whole cherry tomatoes and preserved them just fine, but then I didn't like the taste of dried tomatoes. So to do this, I spread out the onions in the lined aluminum baking pan, and then I put it where it'll get maximum sunlight and put glass over the pan. Depending on the weather and what I'm dehydrating, it might be finished in a day or so. It's just been about a day, but it's already starting to shrivel up nicely. And it rained some last night, and a little this morning, and there's some cloud cover. Which, it's been so hot and dry all week, when I set up this, then it starts getting rainy. But because the glass is over it, that's protecting it. The rainy weather will make it take longer to dry, but it gets so hot that it'll probably dry out before it starts to mold. Now a little tip about making these. I usually use clothespins to try to hold the screen wire best I can on the aluminum foil while the glue dries. But otherwise, these things are pretty cheap, easy to make, so you can make about all you have room for and can use it to dry out all kinds of things, fruits, vegetables, whatever. These are just about completely dried. Might give them a few more days because they were slowed by the rain. But oh, I really love how they start to smell like this. They kind of have a real nice aroma, kind of an onion ring smell. Here's a bag of dried goods from last year. It's got onions, some green onions. I think I also put in garlic and maybe garlic greens. It's good to make soup with. That gives it a nice flavor. Okay, and this is my July video showing how to make a food dehydrator so you can preserve all your yummy vegetables and fruits. Also keep in mind July is a good time to start planting for a fall crop. 